Brian from Workshop Attic. Welcome to my mess. We recently moved and we moved into a house that didn't have great closet space. Like many people out there, we started searching as to what are we going to do with our closet because we cannot have this wire rack. It seems like our clothes are everywhere. Uh, we recently moved so we're still living in boxes because we know we're going to change this. Uh, it took us some time in searching, but we found in our old house we had a closet system called Easy Track. So on the web, we actually found it. You can build out your own closets in there, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a little tour of what's going to happen. So we're going to tear out all the clothes out of this closet. Uh, we're going to fill all the holes, repaint, and then once it's repainted, we're going to start to put together our Easy Track system where they come in different areas, and you can cut them down for widths. Uh, we'll actually have corner shelving in here, uh, dual hanging, and then some drawers. So we should be able to turn this mess into a slightly more organized mess that we can actually come in and enjoy our closet a little bit, not deal with boxes on the floor and other things. So follow along with me. I'll have some pictures I'll flash up and kind of tell you what I'm doing. And then at the end, once it's all done, we'll come back through and say, here it is. You can uh, leave us some feedback or comments on the page. Let me know what you're thinking. So we tore out the old shelving units, the old wire stuff that was here, didn't really give us any storage. Everything's gone, we've repainted. In fact, just repainted. So um, what I'm doing now is basically I put together, I had 12 separate drawers. Uh, very easy to put these drawers together from Easy Track. Uh, basics, they come all in one piece. You fold them up, put the center in, and pound them down. Um, there's some dowels that you just pound into place. They're pretty tight. I took some extra time and made sure that I got glue everywhere that they wanted it. And then beyond that, I added a little bit extra for my own peace of mind. Made sure they were square and I'm setting them aside so they can dry 24 hours. They're probably good now, but I gotta put the faces on them and mess with everything else. And I got enough to do in here that I can let these sit. So one thing when you're putting the drawers together, remember the glue is easily wiped off with a wet rag. So keep a wet rag next to you, you'll use it wiping the extra glue off. Um, the Easy Track system is basically held up with this track and I think that's where their name comes from. And you basically just find your studs on the wall and uh, mount this guy in place where the studs are at. And if you can't get to a place where there's a stud, they give you um, some mounting hardware. I'm going to try to avoid it because there were a lot of half inch holes put in this before. I don't really want that. So uh, they basically tell us to start putting this up at 75 and a half inches. I have plugs on the ground that are 16 inches off. So I want to be 79 and a half inches so that I'm sure that I will not touch these plugs with a drawer or anything. So I'm gonna start basically up here, find my studs and go across. On new paint, uh, I know you guys have seen this Milwaukee stud finder. This will look for metal and electric, but on new paint, I just, I love it. It's got rollers uh, and I can even feel it. This paint is a day old, if that, when I'm rolling it across, it, you know you can feel that the paint soft so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up uh, we have corner shelves in the back so I only have one brace on the side and two two other braces on the other side kind of get started a little bit here and I'll jump back in with you when I got things started so through the process of putting this cabinetry together um, I found it best to start out with the drawers which was a suggestion by John he said get the piddly stuff out of the way because that stuff is what's going to take the time uh, you're going to want to be slamming things together and getting done, but you're sitting there pounding together a drawer. So these drawers, um, pretty easy to put together. I added a little extra glue to them to make sure everything was pounded together good. But then I started building the towers. Um, we started with this back tower, uh, put it into place, and then started building the side towers, which are kind of equal, just uh, we designed them with a little different drawer systems. And then uh, put together the side pieces that go on them where we have a little additional hanging. 
And then I started doing these corner shelving units, which uh, this is what kind of had me on edge the most, mostly because I had to cut them down. Uh, also, I was a little nervous. We didn't build this house, we moved in. I was a little nervous about how square the drywall is, putting a corner shelf in. Uh, it all worked out. It worked excellent. In fact, it worked out easier than I thought, but it would not have been possible without a table saw. So the table saw really saved me here. I guess you probably could have done it with uh, a skill saw or a, even maybe a big miter box, but it would have been a lot harder than using a table saw. So once we just continued to work around and put things in place, push everything to the back, and then we were able to construct uh, the final shelving unit or hanging unit that had to be cut. So if, if you're putting this stuff together, things that I would suggest, start in one place and work your way backwards around. If you're only doing one wall, start in the middle, get your hanging unit up, start working in one direction, push it to the side that needs to go on and work in your other custom side to get it the exact dimension you need. Uh, tools that I found that I couldn't go without here, especially in my situation being right next to our shower and then upstairs we have another shower above it. I needed an excellent stud finder and metal scanner. I needed to find out where the water uh, lines were and in fact there was a couple times I was going to drill a hole exactly where a water line was and this also warned me a little bit of where my uh, electrical was because I could pick up some uh, metal in the wall. Um, I can't say enough you need to have a drill driver that you're comfortable with. Especially, this took us a week start to finish. We tore everything out, filled holes, repainted. So when you're starting to use this stuff, you're in a lot of places where if you slip off a bit, hit the wall, it, it would suck. So get a good driver that you're comfortable with. Get a good bit set that you're with, uh, comfortable with. These are the Milwaukee Shockwaves. I find them to be um, nice to really hold the bit once you get going. In the beginning they can uh, bounce out but once you get into it these really grip um, again i'm using a tape measure and a hammer you uh, the hammer is not really needed for too many things other than to just kind of help you tap things into place and then at the end when you're putting the covers on but it's uh, just another basic tool along with the pencil and the small set of drill bits that you can use to just put this stuff together cutting the rods at the end I ended up using a chop saw or like a miter box for metal. Um, not needed, they show you using a hacksaw, but I wanted straight cuts and everything worked out great. So if you're looking for a closet, again, this is easy track. We built ours online and I think if we had to do it over again, we'd have added a little more hanging. You, the camera angle here, you can't see our hanging. We have two sets here and two sets again. Um, there we'd have probably added another set of hanging here or deleted the closet or the corner shelves and brought this back uh, One way or another we probably would have added more hanging, but we're we're fine So you can add delete do whatever you need to on their website We ordered from Menards which gave us about a $700 discount all in all said this whole system in here uh, the bill it was $1,600 and 11% rebate. So it's not cheap, but again, it's not expensive for what you're getting. The drawer slides are nice. Uh, everything that goes together in here is, is fair. You can get this in different color woods. You don't have to go white. We want white to match our trim. Um, but if you have any questions, stop by the forum. There's gonna be a thread on this, uh, workshopaddict.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or comment below. We'll do our best to get back with you and answer your questions. And uh, the last thing I didn't mention that you need, a level. And the other thing that would work really nice is if you had a laser level to kinda, to have uh, some stuff up. Sorry to add that in at the end. Thanks for watching our stuff. Come back soon.